61A lecture number seven. Announcements. A guerrilla section on higher order functions and recursion will be held this Saturday, starting at noon in 247 Quarry Hall. Homework three is due next Tuesday. It's quite long, so please get started. Midterm one is next Thursday, starting at 8 p.m. The exam itself should start promptly at 8.10 and run until 10.10. It's held in various locations across campus. Your assigned seat will be emailed to you next Wednesday. You can bring a two-sided page of handwritten notes that you create yourself, and you'll be provided with the midterm one study guide, which is a one-page double-sided PDF of all the most important slides from this course so far. So if you ever want to remember how an environment diagram works or see some examples, here they are on your study guide, which will be provided for you, along with all of the evaluation and execution rules for the parts of Python that we've learned so far. If you have a course conflict with the midterm, you should fill out the midterm one conflict form now. We will not accept responses after Sunday. This exam covers content through today's lecture. And if you want to prepare for the exam, you should go to our resources page, which has, for instance, past exams. Now, sometimes the topics on the midterms have varied from semester to semester. If you see a question about a topic that we haven't covered yet, you can just skip that one. You'll also find video walkthroughs of some past exams, some review slides from past semesters, and some more midterm review material developed by the TAs in the course. And actually, there's even more review material out there. Uh, on the staff website, sometimes TAs post practice problems. So for instance, uh, someone who's graduated long ago, Albert Wu, still maintains midterm one review problems on his website. So if you find something particularly helpful, feel free to post that on Piazza so that others can find it too. And good luck studying for the exam. You'll find all the information about the exam on Piazza and also on the midterm one info page, which tells you the time, information about locations, a link to the study guide, and which topics will be covered, specifically referring to the textbook composing programs. Here are some more links and uh, information about makeup exams and review sessions. Studying is a good idea, but don't worry so much. The way this course is set up, the first midterm is actually worth less than the second midterm, which is worth less than the final. So this one exam is not going to determine your grade in the course. It's important, but not so much that you should get very worried about it. Instead, do your best to master the material, show up with a fresh night of sleep, and do your best. OK, the last thing I wanted to remind you of is that we have a small group adjunct sections offered the week after the midterm, and you can sign up now so that we can make sure that we can accommodate as many people who are interested in small group tutoring sessions as possible. And one final announcement we will hold a optional hog strategy contest to the Monday after the midterm, September 19th. How does it work? You develop a final strategy that you think will not just play well against always roll four, but will play well against all of your opponents who are other members of the class. This contest is completely optional. You can just ignore it if you want, and that will have almost no effect on your life whatsoever. But if you choose to participate, it could be a lot of fun to see what sort of final strategy you can come up with and play it against the other strategies developed by your peers in this class. To enter the contest, you have to make a separate submission. So you download the zip archive and put your final strategy in hogcontest.py. The contest itself has some special rules. Up to two people may submit one entry, but there's a max of only one entry per person, so you can form teams of two. 
Your score in the contest is the number of other entries against which you win more than 50% of the time. All strategies must be deterministic pure function of the current player's scores. All winning entries will receive extra credit. A lot of extra credit? Oh no, very little extra credit. Third place gets one point, second place gets two points, first place gets three points, nobody else gets any points. This is not something you do for points. This is something that you do for honor and glory. If you are one of the winners of the hog contest, your name will appear on all future iterations of this slide that I ever make. In 2011, here were the winners. I taught this course again in 2012 in 2013, 2014, and in spring of 2015 and fall of 2015. And here were all the people that won the hog strategy contest. What about fall 2016? Your name could be here forever, or at least as long as I teach CS 61A. So I certainly hope you participate. This is a low stakes fun thing. Um, where we're just giving you a chance to try out all of the different ideas you've developed while building a final strategy in order to see what works against real people instead of just always roll four. And again, submissions are due Monday, September 19th.